Hey guys, Mike here from EasyCigarRoller.com, making a video about my scrap bucket. Uh, I'd like to show you my scrap bucket. It is empty. Um, I no longer throw my pieces and parts into the uh, scrap bucket. What I do is, is I put them into these Easy Bunch of products right off the bat. It's already it's already straight and flat. It's what you want. Um, instead of throwing it into the bucket and and having it all knotted up and jumbled up. I just put it right in here. It'll stay, it stays in here for quite a while. Um, depending on how many cigars I'm rolling, obviously the more I roll, the faster they fill up. But I'll show you what I do. Uh, basically, blah, blah, blah. It, you've seen me roll cigars before. Um, you know, just take this one and just pull it out on here. Um, could have been a little fluid. And then you roll it up. And what you end up with is a nice, um, flat, nice cigar. Uh, that probably shouldn't have gone in there. Anyhow, uh, I'm one of the world's worst video makers, but I'm just trying to show you there's no need to throw it into the bucket and have it get all jumbled up and then sit down and try to sort it out. Um, as you roll them and as you do it, you end up with scrap pieces. You just simply take them and put them in the end. This is, this is a piece of stem out of a, uh, a binder that this end is nice so you just take it and lay it in here and then when you go to wrap them after you've done from here i'd normally go into the my flexible press uh, thing and they stay in here for uh well this is not what i'm here to show you today it goes in here um you draw it tight with this um let it sit in here for a couple hours uh, take it out and then you put your wrapper on it. Um, but what I'm here to show you is how to use these pieces and not waste them. I'll just throw them into a bin. Um, this is a wrapper. I've already got it stretched out here on the table. Um, once you cut this half off, you got to cut this edge off so, you, so it becomes smooth. Simply cut this edge off. Um, put it in here. Pull it, pull it off. Um, and then from here, it'll simply just go in here. Done. Ready, ready to roll a cigar. If this piece is too big, everybody has their own way of doing these. Uh, again, if you want to cut this down, why throw this? I take this piece and throw it into the scrap bin like this. It doesn't make sense. It's a waste of time, and this gets all knotted up and broken. It's in perfect shape you want. But it's a long filler. You know, maybe make a little. Just put it in there. If it's too long. You just break these pieces off. I'll just cut them off. Easier. Just cut them off. And if you don't want to make an eight-inch cigar, you can just use you know six inches of this. Um, or you can do what I do a lot is I do the whole thing, and then if I want a short smoke, I simply cut it in half. You take these pieces and you place them in. You'll, you'll feel it, and you know if I got a soft spot, you fill up the soft spot. But why go through all the hassle and time and effort to throw it into the bucket and then you got to try to straighten it out do it now this is the stem of the uh this is a connecticut the stem is up this end of the stem is really fine this thick end you really don't want but you would take this and just put this in here get rid of this get rid of this thick end which is really unless you want to smoke sticks uh, unusable, but why go through the process of throwing it into the bucket and then trying to sort the bucket and have all these little pieces that you got to deal with? Deal with them now. Put them right in here. Um, it's it's done. You know, if you have a bad, uh, I think this is a piece. Of, this thing's really a piece of junk. So you know you can just throw this into there. Deal with it later. But it's all laid out for you. Simply take it now, make a nice little tube out of it, and stick it in. This will just sit on your, on your workbench or wherever you roll your cigars. It'll stay here for weeks. You know, and you just cut these ends off. If you find that this is not the cigar, size of cigar you want, you can just simply take this, pull it out, and it will go, it'll, it'll go right in this one. And we just push it into this one if you want to make bigger cigars. 
Okay. Takes a little practice, but and I'm the worst video maker. Nothing works for me. So, but there it is. But see, you can, you can just go from one to the other, or you can simply just pull this out and just put it in here if you want to do all you know big ring cigars out of your scrap. The draw is perfect on them because it's all long filler. Um, use the short pieces get used up here. You know this piece. Maybe you want to. I like the, I like a thicker head on my cigar. I don't like it so soft and mushy. Um, but that's what I'm here to show you. This, this should be empty. Everything goes right into these forms as you determine it's no good. So get rid of your, you know, get rid of your scrap bin. Um, and just do it now while they're in good, while it's all in good usable form. Piece of the stem, we don't want that. This in here. Uh, these are some of the ones I've made using this method of scrap. They're pretty nice cigars. I wouldn't be embarrassed to smoke these anywhere with anybody. Uh, draws great. Um, they're, they're solid. They got a nice sound to them when, when you, you know, they're not mush cigars. So that's kind of what I'm here to show you today. That is by using these products, I'm selling, I'm selling everything now in bunch in bundles. I'm selling my Flexo roll, you know, the, the Bunchero roller, Flexo press, and the easy bunchers all in a package. Helps save money. I save money on freight. You save money on freight. So they're on my website. It does have uh, bundles of each of them. Check it out and see if it's something you want to do. But this is so much easier of a way to make you use up your scrap. And scrap's expensive. Some people say throw it out. I say I paid for it. I want to try to use it. And all these smokes are great. Kind of mystery smokes because you're not really sure what the blend is. Um, if you're that hung up on that, then I guess don't do this. But um, just throw your scrap out. But I think these smokes are great. They're, they're, they're sometimes they're better than some of the ones I try to make. So that's the video today. Um, thank you for your time. Thanks. Bye-bye.